Hi, this is Mike Schwartz. I'm the founder and CEO of Blue, and I'm going to tell you in this three-minute video why SAML is overrated. Well, assume if you found your way to this video that you already know what SAML is, and there's so much to cover about how overrated SAML is, I'll just dive right into it. Number one, SAML is terrible for web developers. Here are your options if you're a web developer. One, you can try and parse a SAML token. Good luck there. That's a very difficult. And SAML has a number of options, and it's proven to be really a, a hard, too hard for most web developers to do it. Your other option is to in insert a web filter into your web server, like an Apache module or an IAS module. While this is better, it's a deployment module that web developers don't really like, the fact that they have this external requirement that they can't test in their code. So to make matters worse, the burden of generating the secret that to identify the website is on the web developer. So instead of uh, later protocols where the API issuer gives you an API key and password with SAML, you have to generate a private key, a private certificate, and then if that's not bad enough, you have to include that private certificate in what's called the metadata, which is a, a cryptic XML standard that, that web developers don't know and don't want to know. So let's just, let's just I only, I've used half my time on how bad it is for developers, so let's just, let's just leave that as number one. Number two, it's XML SOAP. Web developers don't want this. They want, in their toolboxes, JSON REST. Many web platforms, like especially new mobile platforms, don't even have an XML parsing library in, the, in their uh, available to them. So really, uh, web developers want JSON REST, not XML SOAP at this point. Reason number three, lack of adoption. While SAML has been adopted by large websites, the average website developer hasn't adopted it. So generally, only large high-value apps have, have integrated SAML, like Google or Salesforce or some important partner portal. But again, generally, your average website hasn't adopted SAML, and it doesn't have great adoption right now. It's hardly ubiquitous at websites. Lack of discovery. In SAML, how do you know where to send the user for authentication? Well, a number of, of SAML providers have come up with different discovery mechanisms, but, but they're, they're standards that leave a little bit to be desired, so let's just leave it there. And then finally, no authorization. Uh, in SAML, you can pass attributes and you can pass authentication, but there's no way to say what URLs a person's allowed to get to. So with that, I'll just leave it at SAML, overrated.